Hey guys, this is Escalation4 here with a new review for you guys and this is actually my third time doing a review on this figure. Reason why? Because first time it was a shitty camera and, it, and it, I didn't review it on its own. Second time it was also a shitty camera, I recorded it on a webcam. And this time I just want to do better quality videos. So yeah, this is my third attempt to, um, to review the Battle Damaged um, Goku figure. So, yeah, by Jax. This is from series, I don't remember, 13 or 18, um, where it came with like a battle damage background, uh, you know, scenery, and it came, no, not this one. Yeah, this one came with a battle damage background. I thought it came with something else, but with a battle damage background and everything, so, you know, hence the look of Goku battle damaged. I really like this Goku a lot. Um, yeah, I just really do. Um, I remember I got this back on rightstuff.com, Z store. Um, I don't remember how much on there they were cheap. They're only like 10, 15 bucks for a figure in box. Um, okay, so um, I think first I'm going to show you how tall he is. Here is, you can see that right there. Um, he is, I don't know if you can see that, but with the hair, he stands about six inches tall with his hair. If you don't include the hair, he is five and a half inches tall. So, you know, standard five inch scale. Um, I, I think he's, yeah, he's a good height. I think he might be a little tall. I don't know. Goku's, Goku's actually 5'7 in the, in the anime and manga. That's uh, according to Akira Toriyama. So, yeah. Um... He has he's tan looking. Um, the later Jax figures made Goku tan. I don't know, but this figure is, you know, kind of rehashed from the. I'm not sure which way actually. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they took they took the body, but I mean yeah, the body, um, basically completely the whole body from the Battle Damage Super Saiyan Goku figure. I mean it's the same legs, same torso, and everything, just different head and a cloth shirt. But you know, they always rehash their figures like that. But anyway, um, let's get started. Um, articulation wise, he moves 360 in his arm. He also moves outward and inward and moves 360 here and bends at the elbow. His wrist also moves 360 like that. And then of course, his head moves 360 and that's it. He doesn't move up or down right there. Um, his waist also moves 360, like that. And then his legs, of course, a uh, back and forth like that, and bends at the knee. And then his ankles move 360 and can be pointed like that. So he has quite a bit of articulation, pretty good. There's the same articulation as the Battle Damage Super Saiyan Goku. So basically, if you have that one, you know what you're getting if you want this figure. Um, cause it's basically the same body, just different head. Now, let me talk about this a bit more. I think it's a little weird in its, um, color choices for the figure because it's just kind of funny. Um, why I say that is because the boots are really light colored. They're like a really light blue. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why they decided to do that. Um, I think it's because they did take the body from the Super Saiyan Goku and, I don't know, they just ne didn't try repainting it to look darker like it should. I don't know, it's like a weird blue. It's really, it's light. And his wristbands are black, which are not supposed to be black. Obviously, everybody knows they're blue. See how his belt's not match the, the color of his belt his sh and his shirt right there does not match the color of his wristbands or his shoes, which doesn't make any sense. It just, I think that it should have been maybe this color wristbands and his shoes, you know, because his shirt matches the color of his belt. So I don't know, they just were weird with the coloring with that, but the figure is cool. I really like it. If they, you know, if you want to do a custom, you can repaint it to look more like how it should. Um, now, here's one of the cool things that it has. The shirt, let me put a closer look on him, is actually, you can see that here with the flash on, a cloth material. You can see the little, you know, um, 
like, you know, the little stitches for the shirt where, you know, where, where it was stitched on and everything. Um, so basically, you remove it from the back. It has a Velcro. And you take it out like that. And then you can have a shirtless Goku. So that's basically it. Very easy. You can lose it though, so watch out with that. And now it's a shirtless Goku. Which is cool. He's really, really buff here. As you can see that. Because they did take it from the Super Saiyan Goku. That they already did. So the figure is cool though. I mean, you can display it with without the shirt. I always display it with the shirt. And it's very easy. It doesn't break. It can't. Um, you know, how the Super Bowl collection ones, you had to, uh, take it off and on through pegs and stuff, and the pe pegs would come off. Um, I really like how they did this with Velcro, because you don't have that problem. And I think that most, I mean, I think all of them should have been kind of like this, with some kind of cloth clothing. I mean, I don't know, it all depends, I guess. It depends on what kind of, what look do you want for the figure so or maybe you just don't have it so you can remove the shirt i don't know it all depends on your preference but i like how they did this it's kind of different i guess if it was the whole um top part of a shirt it would look funny if it was completely cloth so i guess they did, I did they did good for just making the undershirt cloth now that i'm thinking about it it would look kind of funny if it was completely cloth with you know the, his whole gi was cloth like on the top i think it would look funny so anyway um that's that i'll show you a close look of him without his shirt on Dun. for some reason yeah, it's better for some reason mine my figure close focus there i don't know if you can see that let me turn off the flash here you can see it a lot more like this. If you see see that, see his face. For some reason, mine is what came a little sloppy in the paint job. If you can see his eye, right there under his eye, they like um, went out of the lines, coloring his eye, and then his pupil. You can see that. Don't focus. Okay, if you see his eye right there. And they like went off the line like they they colored it his the white part of his eye a little bit of black And that was not my problem because this figure is straight out of the package It just came like that which freaking sucks But you know there's some figures that have some defects like that But anyway it shouldn't normally have that Anyway close look of his face you go down He has really really great body sculpting I really love his torso the muscles look awesome he looks so ripped and of course, you can see his arm muscle right there. It looks really good. And then you see his ripped clothing. It looks nice. I really like that look. And there you go. And now I will show you how he looks with the shirt on. So, you know, you slip it back on. This. I guess it's a little annoying, but it can get st stuck on his arm there. Sometimes the joints of his arm can get stuck on there. But good enough, I guess. Anyway, okay, here's a look, closer look of him with his undershirt on. For this, I'm going to take off the flash because it looks better that way. Focus. Okay. See that right there. He looks awesome with his shirt on too. So, whichever way you choose to display him, it looks nice. See that? If you want a back view of him. Oh, plus, I've seen them reuse this head many, many times. It's kind of annoying. I've seen them. I think I'm, I've seen them use it quite a few times too. They always reuse their heads and body parts. Jacks always did that. They got really lazy. And you see the sculpting behind his head um, has you know sky um, 
scribes, spikes <laughs> coming out on the back of his head right there. So there you go. Um, I usually like it with the flat um, back of his head. I don't know, it just looks better to me. It always did look better to me in my opinion. But yeah, that's the figure, the battle damaged Goku by Jax. And tell me what you guys think of the figure. I think it's pretty good. I like that touch they did with the, the clothing. And yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this review. And until my next one, guys, peace.